Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to be uh, doing the very first video on the 1100F restoration, and I know some of you have been uh, looking forward to that. So uh, first of all, in this first shot here, you'll see that the CBXs are uh, now at equal points, so I'll be able to continue the restoration on those two bikes as well. So uh, anyway, uh, getting to the 1100F, and again, I know some of you have been anticipating uh, my starting on the full restoration of this bike. So uh, I'm going to be doing a walk around on that bike uh, to uh, show you how the bike exists now and how I've received the bike uh, when I bought the bike, I don't know, three or four years ago. Um, I had a funny little story. The guy I bought it from was on a returning from a trip and he was about a half hour from home and a deer jumped out just as it was starting to get a get dark. A deer jumped off an embankment and landed on his lap. And uh, and of course, then down he went. So uh, did some damage to the bike, which I'll go over, you know, in a second. But uh, again, as I mentioned a minute ago, uh, the the second CBX is now uh, at the same stage that the uh, Left for Dead CBX is. And uh, as you can see here, I've got both bikes uh, at the exact same point, and I'll be able to be continuing uh, the restoration on that. So um, I will be continuing with those two bikes pretty much simultaneously uh, with the 1100F. Um, as I'm waiting for powder coating and so on on the 1100, I'll be getting back on the CBXs. So anyway, back to the 1100F, uh, just to do a little walk around here. And excuse if the uh, camera is a little bit jerky. I'm kind of holding it uh, in my hand while I'm walking around the bike. Uh, kind of maneuvering around other bikes and, st and so on. So uh, as, as you can see, some damage was done uh, to the bike when he went down. It destroyed the, uh, the fairing and the instrument cluster um, and, you know, bent handlebars and stuff like that. But uh, overall, the bike pretty much survived going down. He wasn't going that fast, and he just kind of went down on one side and... Um, uh, but, you know, the bike really was not in great shape anyway, cosmetically. Uh, so it, it really just did very minimal damage uh, to the bike. So um, the frame is fine and, you know, all the, uh, all the major components are in good shape and so on. So, and like I said, the engine, uh, the only thing that got damaged really on the engine was the alternator cover which I have a replacement for that. So uh, just to kind of do a close-up walk around to show um, what we're starting with. Uh, I, I'm very happy with the overall condition of the bike. Um, it's going to be a pretty easy restoration. Uh, the engine uh, only has about 12,000 miles on it. The, the original instrument cluster showed 12,000 miles. So uh, really doesn't have a lot of miles. I will be doing the head, rebuilding the head, and uh, probably put new rings in it. Um, just because, you know, sometimes age is as bad as miles. So, And there's some funky things on the bike, like that uh, taillight assembly uh, is not really attached properly. And uh, there's a few other funky things. It's got a, some funky wiring <laughs> which is pretty standard for these bikes after many years of being, you know, messed with with uh, professional mechanics. <laughs> ha ha. But anyway, I'll be going over, I'll be replacing a lot of these components like the handlebars and the switches and all that. I'm going to put a sport kit on it. I've got a sport kit. Um, and I'll just, you know, be bringing the bike up pretty much to look like showroom condition again. I love these bikes. I bought it brand new, bought a 1100F brand new, and I've loved them ever since. So 
And some of you who are familiar with my restorations know that I've restored a number of them, uh, which I've got uh, many pictures of those restorations on my website. And I'll be uh, posting them all on my Instagram account as well. So um, anyway, that's pretty much uh, done for the walk around. Um, now I want to go over some of the parts and pieces that I have accumulated over the years. Um, first of all, the uh, alternator cover here is one that I've had and it's in perfect condition. So I'll be replacing the damaged one on the bike with this. I'll restore this to look like brand new first, of course. Uh, but as you can see, it's in a beautiful condition. So um, that's going to be a nice uh, little addition on the engine. And then um, I've got, like I said, over the years, I've accumulated a lot of different parts and so on. So the uh, ignition cover here is in perfect condition. It's been painted black, but you know, I'll bring that back to look like new again. Uh, the crash bars on the bike are damaged, so I'll be taking those off and putting new ones on. And uh, the Vintag is in decent condition. It just needs to be um, cleaned up and I'll put new rivets in it and so on. So um, that's intact. And like I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rebuild the head and probably put rings in it and uh, so starting off showing my uh, bodywork that I have this is a virtually brand new gas tank it's in perfect condition unfaded beautiful brand new inside uh, the gas tank's been uh, was taken off a bike many many years ago back in the 80s and, and stored so it's in perfect brand new condition and uh, Going up to my uh, loft here, uh, and excuse the jerky camera and the lighting, I'm, I'm holding the camera and the light at the same time. So I just want to show you my other bodywork that I have here. Uh, this is an NOS set of bodywork that I have. Um, I do not have the side covers, but, uh, and again, excuse the, the camera work here, but um, as you can see, I've got a brand new uh, front fairing and underneath there I've got a, a brand new front fender and again all this paint matches the gas tank uh, the gas tank is completely unfaded so all the all the uh, paintwork will match and and um, for all intents purposes the gas tanks NOS too so um, but anyway that's the front fender and then underneath there is the uh, tail section, which I'll show you here. So there's the tail section. And like I said, I do not have brand new side covers. Uh, if anyone out there has new ones, I'd be interested. But I do have a nice set of perfect side covers that I'll just have repainted so to match. And then I've got an NOS exhaust system uh, in two different parts here. I bought them separately, but I have one side here hanging on the rafters, and it's it's NOS. It's not a hundred percent perfect. It's got a few little uh, uh, pits in it, but it for all intents and purposes, it looks brand new. And then I have the other side and the two center pipes uh, NOS in this box, which have never been out of the box, so uh, they're in perfect condition. So. I look forward to putting that exhaust system on. And again, I've had the these pieces for many years, so um, I'll have people asking me where I got them, but I've had them for years. So, um, And then here's a box with some brand new NOS turn signals. And again, I bought a lot of this stuff back when it was still available as well. So I have an NOS seat here in the box which is always nice to have. And I've got a few other parts too. I've got a, a really beautiful virtually NOS uh, instrument cluster as well that I have that I'll be uh, putting on the bike too. So anyway, that's going to do it for this introduction video on the uh, start of the 1100F restoration. 
And uh, tomorrow I'll be posting, either tomorrow or Tuesday, I'll be posting a video of the disassembly of the bike. I'll disassemble it all the way down to the bare frame in that one video. So I'll be posting that either tomorrow or the next day. And uh, that'll be an interesting video. And then, as I mentioned before, I'll be uh, continuing working on the two CBXs too. So that's going to do it for this video. And as usual, thank you so much for watching. And please like, subscribe, share, hit the subscribe button, then the bell for post notifications. And I'll see you on the next video.